You're okay. Are you okay? Are you pushing? Oh, oh. She just broke her water. Hey guys, so Kira is officially in labor. She has been having contractions and she's pushed a couple times. She's had contractions for about 10 minutes now. So I got her in the welcome box and got everything ready and we are just playing the waiting game. Kira is a very vocal dog, so she is making a lot of noise. She's whining a lot and howling and um, her water did just break. It was all nice and clear liquid. It wasn't green like Aurora's. So hopefully everything will be okay with this litter. So we're just going to wait here with her and be here for her and wait for the puppies to arrive. She's... Yeah, it's okay. Kira's very vocal. So this is probably going to be a loud birth. You got it, baby? Oh, it's a puppy already. Uh, the tongue is sticking out. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh. Right here, I am actually trying to suck the fluid out of the puppy's nose and mouth while he's still inside of her because his face is out he's not in a sack and he's stuck so i'm trying not to freak out but i'm a little nervous i'm a little bit shaky oh, she is stuck in there i see his hand i got it it's all right it's all right it's all right here get it oh no i'm doing great work here. right now here you go Oh, it's a boy! Oh, it's a boy! It has a boy! It has hairs on it. Hairs on it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's got some hair. Here, let me get the Eater keys. Good girl. <laughs> Are you doing good, Mima? Are you shaky? You doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. It was stuck in the birth canal. I had to get it out. I'm sorry, Kira. Look! Can somebody wait, man? Hmm? I'm not coming over there. <laughs> Where's Mima? It's your boy! How do you name it? Kira, you gotta eat it, babe. Eat your placenta. It's a black baby. What do you want to name it? Oh. It has floppy ears. It's your boy! Daddy, you name the first one. No, you're not. It's family decision. Hey, bud. Here, you got to film? Are you filming? Yes, I'm doing great shot. <laughs> All right, she's eating the placenta. You're lucky you're not She's got to break the, here, let me hold this for her. You're supposed to hold that, there you go, just like that. You hold that and then she'll pull off the cord for you. Good job, mama. Good job. All right. Good girl. My guess was seven. Put her out here. Oh, did you hear him? <laughs> I got the puppy on the nipple so he can nurse. And as he nurses, it's going to release more oxytocin in her body so that she will have more contractions and the next puppy can come. Mommy, don't say that on camera. Well, he's a little boy. Mommy. So we got our bulb here. 
this is what I used because when he came out, I don't know if you guys could see it, but um, he was breached. He had no sack. So he came out with just his head hanging out and his tongue hanging out. So I um, I saw that he, he was okay, but he was stuck with just his head hanging out and it, his, her vulva was kind of around his neck. So I was just a little worried that it would, you know, compress his neck. I know he still had the 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 umbilical cord so but i just wanted to get him out as quick as possible and we used this to get all the fluid out of his throat and make sure he could breathe we didn't end up needing the dental floss because she did um cut the cord and eat the cord off herself i just wanted to pause real quick and say i'm sorry about uh, my daughter's filming i guess she thinks it's hilarious to zoom in on my chest but uh yeah sorry about that but that is puppy number one and he's doing great he's nursing she's licking him doing wonderful we will just wait here until puppy number two comes pushing we see the contractions there's one you see it there you, here's another one they're really close together puppy should come in soon Smashing this one too, honey. Here, here. Get it. Make sure you get it. We gotta get the the bulb. No, he's okay. She's got it. She's got the bulb. There you go, honey. She's gonna eat the placenta. I'll hold it for her so she can pull it off. Don't puke, Kara. Don't eat it. Kara. Oh, God. It's okay, Kara. Oh, no, it's not. Look at what I got to do here. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, Kara, honey, don't. Hold on. Let me see. I got to. Somebody. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I gotta help the puppy. Well, you put the phone down then. We gotta get. Here, let's. Less vlogging, more helping. Yeah, I can't do there that. There we honey. go. I'm we will suck. That. There we go. We'll suck him out. Suck it out there. Here, I'll hold this for her. There we go. Are you okay, little guy, in there? Here we go. It's okay, buddy. Here. You're okay. You're okay. Here's number two. Puppy number two at 1.15 a.m. It is a little girl. Here's puppy number two. There's a girl. Puppy number two is a girl. Good girl. Number two. She's nursing. She's cleaning number one again. There we go. Good girl. You did great, Kira. Good girl. Hey guys, it is about 2.20 in the morning. And Akira is starting to pant again. And another, um, here you go, baby. 
A good way to tell if they're having contractions is to listen to their breathing and their panting. It's usually pretty rhythmic. And then when they stop panting, they're usually pushing. So that's a good way to see if they're having contractions. Girl number, the, the second puppy right here, number two. She has been nursing for a while, but it, the whole time she's nursing, she is just screaming. And I kept checking on her, making sure she had the nipple, and she does. She's just yelling the whole time. She's very vocal. But it looks like we are going to probably have another puppy here soon. She's finally starting to have contractions again. It looks like she's only having a puppy once an hour. So this might take a long, long time. But we're right here with you, baby. Mommy's right here with you, okay? <laughs> you okay? Bird. Puppy number three, 2.47 a.m. It is another girl. Here we go. Oh. Puppy number three. Puppy number four, no sack again. Hey, man. Need to get it breathing. Hold on. All right, here we go. I just had to get her breathe. Him, her, I don't know. Here, I'll hold the cord so she can eat. Pull it off. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. This one, is this a girl too? Three girls. I think it's a girl, right? It's another girl. It's another girl. Three girls and one boy. She's licking her all up. There we go, there's a cry. Here's a cry. Good girl. Good girl. I see her. Oh, look at the baby. It's the first one that's in a sack. Number five. Come on, baby. Go ahead and push. It's okay. 
Okay. Push, push, push. This is the first puppy that's actually in its sack still. They're all black. Yeah, let's help her. There we go. Okay. We need the sack, honey. Open the sack up. Wake up the puppy. Wake up the puppy. Break that sack open, honey. Wake up, honey. There you go. There you are. You wait. Here. baby. Come on. Don't you cry. It's a boy. It's a boy. 4.48 a.m. Got another boy. Oh no, his cord's bleeding. Never have any issues here. Just bend him in half. Bend the puppy kind of in half. And go up and down. It helps get all the fluid to the surface there where you can get it out. So just kind of bend him. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's breathing now. He's breathing better. There we go. Come on, let out a cry for us, buddy. I want you to cry. You gotta cry, okay? Warm him up. There we go. Here's a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Let out a cry for us. There he is. Beautiful. Look at the little boy. Hi. Hi. <laughs>
But he looks completely black except for his feet. And of course a tiny little white tip on the tail. Teeny weeny tip. Yes, Mama's cleaning him right now. Mama's doing so good. Okay guys, so right about this point is when I start to kind of freak out a little bit. Um, the day before this, my other dog, Aurora, she had her puppies and she had the bright green discharge like this. And the puppies came out completely passed away already and stiff. So when I saw this same color discharge coming out of Akira, I started to freak out a little bit. And um, the puppies are only supposed to have two hours max between each um, delivery and this has been more than two hours and you can clearly see that akira is having contractions she is pushing and nothing is happening so all of that put together especially the green it's it's freaking me out so i'm i'm freaking out a little bit <laughs> Okay guys, so I also read in my research that if a puppy goes to the bathroom inside the womb, then that can cause the green discharge as well. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, maybe she's okay. Maybe it's just, you know, green because she went poop in the, in the womb. But then again, this puppy, Akasha, she was born completely lifeless and I had to revive her and bring her back to life. So in this case, I'm pretty sure the green meant that she was at risk and losing oxygen. But at the same time, I just wanted to let you know that it could mean that the puppy went number two inside of the mom. <sighs> at this point, I was completely freaking out because of the way um, she came out feet first and no sack. And with all the green discharge and the poop, I, I thought... She was lifeless and I was right. So that is why I pulled her out as fast as I could. I mean, I didn't jerk her out, but that's why I pulled her out pretty quickly like that so I can get to working on her. So I'm sorry if that was wrong. Please don't come for me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Baby, probably need to have her face down. I tried that. It seems like she just. guys this is number seven this is number seven baby that was born when this baby was born she was completely and totally lifeless i had to work on her for literally over an hour um she was taking like a little gasp of air every here every here and there <laughs> Every now and then, she would take a, try to take a breath of air, but she just had so much fluid in her. She was in there too long, and it was four hours between the last puppy and her, 
and it should only be a two hours max. So I had to work on her for over an hour, but I was finally able to get her to start breathing again and to let out a cry. And now she's the loudest one and just keeps screaming and screaming. But um, while I was working on her, we had number eight be born, which I didn't get on film because I was working on number seven. But we have um, eight puppies now. Five are girls, three are boys. And I just recently got the number seven puppy when she started breathing and I got most of the fluid out. Her lungs sound good now. Um, she was still kind of like not moving very much and not able to nurse, but I just got her able to nurse and she's able to be down here with the rest of the pups now because she's moving around and nursing well. So that is really, really great. And number eight is also a girl and I'm not sure if Akira is done or not. There's I'm not sure if she's done or not, but we'll have to see. Or just keep waiting. It's literally been um, 12 hours since she went into labor. I haven't slept all night. Super tired, but we're going to just hang out here and see if she has any more. Okay guys, we just had puppy number nine and I didn't even see any contractions this time so it just slid right out and I almost missed it. But it's another girl. She still feels a little big. I, I don't know how many she's got in there. But we'll just keep waiting. Look at me, I look <laughs> awful but oh well. Come on, Kira. Now push, baby. Push. I just wanted to give you guys a trigger warning because the next puppy that is born does not survive. And to be completely honest, it is a little graphic. But I wanted to include it because I, I tried to explain it to you guys and it was really hard to explain. So I wanted to include it just so you knew what I was talking about. But um, this is your warning. It is a little bit graphic. So if you're sensitive to blood or anything like that, to click out now or skip ahead. Push that placenta out, baby. Push it out. Push it out, babe. Here. Push, push, push. Push. Oh, it's stuck here. 
guys so it has been 22 hours since akira first went into labor i have been with her the entire time i haven't slept clearly i look terrible um i need a shower um i've had to vigorously um try to save three of the puppy's lives um, one of the puppies I was able to bring back to life and save her life. The other two were both females as well, and I wasn't able to save them. Um, one of the puppies, um, she pushed out the puppy. Okay, guys, so I actually paused it right here because I'm getting ready to explain to you what I think happened to the puppy. And, um, I... I, at first, honestly, I thought that maybe since she was stuck in there, that um, the umbilical cord was also stuck. And when she finally came out, it ripped off and then ripped her intestines out. But I didn't realize until I reviewed the footage that her intestines were already out before I um, got her leg stuck out of Akira. It was her leg that was actually stuck in there, and I didn't realize that either, but, um, so, yeah, everything I was about to say here, I'm going to cut it out because I actually didn't realize until I reviewed the footage what really happened. And literally, the actual intestines of the puppy came out of the puppy, and it, it was bleeding, it, it was it was a big mess um the vet said that when that happens the puppy rarely ever ever will survive if it does it'll get an infection from the intestines being outside of the body and probably won't survive so what i could do is i could try to get the intestines back in the body and um bandage it and just get her comfortable and try to you know help her get comfortable and maybe live maybe not or i can bring her in to be euthanized so i was actually able to get the intestines back into her stomach i just kind of was able to push them like up and they actually all went back in i am so surprised i couldn't believe i was able to get her intestines back in her body but i um then bandaged it real good um, but her problem was also so much fluid <clears throat> in her, in her lungs and stuff as well. She wasn't able to get all that fluid out and I helped her and we got it to the point where she was crying and making noises, but she still couldn't breathe that well. And about four hours later, she did pass away. So that was the first puppy that passed, which was so, so sad. And that was puppy number 10. Puppy number um, 11 lived and was completely fine and then it, that the last puppy was at two about 220 and I thought she was done because it was about seven o'clock. Um, I was getting ready to take Camila to gymnastics since I had been so many hours and I was going to leave um, my um, boyfriend here with her and then I was going to go. Um, but then I went to take her out to the bathroom. She had to go potty and I went to take her out potty and she was coming down the hallway and just tons of discharge and then she just screamed and uh, plopped a puppy out in the hallway on the, on the floor. So I, of course, um, tried to get that one cleaned up and sadly, when a puppy is in there for that long, you're only supposed to have them be about two hours apart at the most and this was like five hours. I was really, really worried that this puppy 
was not going to survive. But when it came out, it was actually moving. And I, I couldn't believe. I was like, oh my god, thank god. So the puppy was moving and it was trying to breathe. And um, she was licking it. it. It seemed okay. And um, it didn't cry or anything. And it had just so, so, so much fluid. Um, it wasn't in a sack, which only two of her 12 puppies were in a sack. But it wasn't in a sack. So I, um, I did my best um, to get all the fluid out. Um, I like when I thrusted the puppy up and down for so so long I got so much fluid out of its lungs and its nose and it was just coming out of its nose and um and it, it just it wasn't enough I don't know if it wasn't fast enough or if it was just too much or if it was just in there for too long um like like I said five hours after the last puppy so I just couldn't get it to to, to breathe or to cry and eventually about an hour later I noticed that she was not moving anymore I tried for an hour thrusting it up and down but oh, sadly I was not able to save puppy number 12 either so she's had 12 puppies but we've lost two of them so she only has 10 puppies and after her 12 puppy she was having contractions again and I, I don't know she was having contractions she was pushing um but she stopped and I, I don't know I don't know if there's another puppy in there or not if there is I want to I want her to get it out before I don't want the same thing to happen again so um it's been it's been really hard she she's literally only had a puppy like once every hour or once every almost two hours it's been a very long road but I'm going to sit with her here with her the rest of the night and see if there's any more puppies and if not we'll talk more in a few hours and see what's going on okay guys so it is about midnight um 20 minutes ago about 11:40. Akira had another puppy, um, it was another girl, and this time it came out clearly, um, deceased, it was stiff, it looked like it had been deceased for a while, so I, I still tried for a minute, but there was no use, it was definitely had been, had been dead a while. I just, I, I don't, I don't know what, what happened. I mean, everything was going so good all night and all morning and into the afternoon. I don't know why she started slowing down tremendously and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why it's been taking her so long to get the rest out, but I, I really strongly believe that um, with the amount of time that it took um, to get each puppy out several hours between when it shouldn't be more than one and a half, two hours. It's causing the puppies to be in distress and lose oxygen. And that's probably what happened to the last three puppies. It was very stressful. We were up for 24 hours straight. Um, she had 13 puppies. Um, we have 10 puppies now. Three of them sadly, sadly passed away. Um, well, two of them passed away and the third one came out already. Passed on. So we do have 10. I am proud of her. She's such a good girl. She did such a great job. And she does have 10 healthy, beautiful puppies. She has six girls, four boys, and I'm just really excited to see them grow and how Kira does. So I will keep you guys updated with videos on them. All right, you guys, this right here, I haven't have a name for her yet, but this is the one 
who um, was not breathing and this is the one that I was able to work on and um, have her start breathing for us and now she is nice and healthy and um, hi baby. Here you go, sweetie. Oh, yes. And she's the most vocal, like I said. But anyway, guys, that is everything for this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any thoughts or opinions or advice for me, um, definitely leave it in the comment section down below. Because remember, guys... Uh, Kira is a first-time mommy, and I'm a first-timer as well. I, I only I have no experience. I just did it all with um, talking to the vet and doing all my own research. So if you guys have any advice, let me know down below. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I'd love to have you in the family, and you will be able to see future videos of these little babies growing up. So. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and remember guys, in a world where you can be anything, please be kind to each other, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.